Hi there YouTube. So today I have finally finished painting and I've sealed with a satin sealer another Nerf strong arm that I have repainted as a cell shaded Borderlands inspired blaster and I thought I'd make a quick video of how to assemble it. Um, there's no modifications made internally. I figure after all the hard work that's got into the paint, the last thing you'd want is some overpowered spring or anything just breaking something on the inside and then rendering it basically just an ornament so the first thing we do is see that tiny piece there the spring that will pull back the top slide has to go there to go out there which is and this goes on this here. Now I always put it, see how the spring is on one side? I'm going to lock into that. So I just put that there. Make sure it goes down. It sits nice and flush like that. And then comes the pump unit, which goes in. Now you'll see the pump unit has See that there and that there, they go into those two holes. There you go, and there's the unit all complete, which is great. So, next up, I'm going to put the trigger back on, and the trigger goes here. Put that on there back and forth and get the screw from before it's the only screw I leave in the nerf when I'm painting it don't know why I always have done let me screw that in place a bit difficult doing it while the camera's there there you go and now for my next trick, oh, I knew there was something I'd forget. See this spring? Yeah, genius. It's meant to go in there. So I could either take the trigger off or just do that. There's your spring. And now, before I put any of the other part, the big uh, springs in, because there's one more spring up here, and then there's that, I'm going to put the main pieces in. So first, I'm going to get the barrel, and then put the cylinder. And for this we need the cylinder, and the cylinder front. One second, there you go. See, there's nothing holding it on, it just, it's just held in place sort of by itself. And then we just pull this back, lock that in place there, and swing these legs round so they sit in those two cradles. The other part of the shell is going to hold those fast. And now I am going to get the tactical rail lock and that's just some white blue tack, cheap white blue tack because it gets sprayed and it's just once this is done it's just fit for the bin. Here it is there. Let me get the spring. There it is. And now, this is the first part that's really tricky. There's another part that comes up. And here it is. This is the back part.
part of the mechanism that locks it in place. And that spring, see there, the spring is meant to go in there and it goes, sits on that blue part and sits within. Now, what I am going to try, I think there might be a few takes of this. Just if I shove that up there, there it is. That's a nice close up. See, that's what it does. So you pull the trigger, that pushes that down, and it releases the plunger. Now, now I'm going to put the other part of the shell on. Desperately try and wiggle it round so it locks in place. There you go. You can see already that's in place there, so if I push that down, the cylinder comes out. All I have to do is screw it back into place. There is the spring, the reciprocating spring, I suppose you'd call it. There. I've got to get that onto. And when you open this up, there is a tiny, tiny little screw, and that spring goes on that. And once again, these, those springs under tension, and these little screws can fly for miles. Oh yeah, the, the one on the left is a regular Nerf screw. The one on the right is this little spring screw. Yeah, not a problem at all. So, once again, the handy dandy cocktail stick. This one's still covered in paint. Because wood will not scratch as much as steel. So there you are, I've grabbed it out. Zoom in there. Put the screw in. Now, as long as I hold it under tension, it won't fly off. The trick is now trying to get that into there and what I try and do is screw just do a couple of turns there you go just manually and boom it's in and then just screw that down and then just pop that back over and put that back in the lines there now See that there? Hold on, let me pan back a bit. That there is the clip that needs to go in there, which pulls back the charging plunger. And it was also on the other side as well. See? Goes in there. Pan back again. And lift up. So you pull that back, once you hear that click, there's the mechanism in there, there's the plunger, and there is our spring under full tension, let it go, and then when you pull, once again, that should be screwed together, and when you pull the trigger, it will fire the barrel, and it should also cycle as well, if I remember it rightly. There you go. And there it is. In fact, so if you is. take that half off, there you can see that T-bar there moves up and down. So if I hold that in place, pull it back, I have to put my thumb here. That was it, locked, charged. So you can see there, a safety measure in fact, if you look through, you can see it's live. Pull the trigger, and it drops. There you go. And once it's gone, it's been fired. But yeah, anyway, that is... Let me put that on there and I'll screw all that together. And that is what the internals of one of my repainted Nerf Mavericks looks like.